Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another FSR 3 video. In this one, we are trying Lords of the Fallen. Uh, this is for only for the RTX series card because this game has the DLSS frame generation and the mod is not yet working on AMD card. So I will tell AMD users to avoid this video. Uh, so right now I'm on uh, 1080p uh, here as you can see DLSS is on quality and rest of the setting is everything is on high except these effects because they uh, don't work properly with the frame generation and they cause some issues so everything is on high uh, 1080p DLSS quality I'm getting the frame rate around 90 80 to 90 uh, don't mind the gameplay though I am noob in this series noob ultra pro max if I have to say in this type of games and there comes an enemy I will save the checkpoint and then uh, try the mod wait a second bro uh, yeah so the uh, frame rate is around 80 to 90 now let's begin the mod shall we first I'm gonna quit the game and after that uh, i know this wallpaper is from the uh, 2013 lords of the fallen but it looked cool so i set it uh, after that download this zip from the description lots of the fallen fsr 3 extract it to the desktop um, once again telling it is only for rtx series card uh, amd gpu don't even try it because they don't have the frame generation supported so copy everything from this directory and after that open your lot of the fallen installation folder uh, lots of the fallen after that go to lotf2 then binaries then win64 and where the lots of the fallen uh, shipping is located paste everything right here we need uh, uh, two two extra steps so follow me uh, first double click on uh, enable N nvidia driver signature override uh, don't double click on disable it will uh, not allow you to use the mod double click on enable after that um, find dlss tweaks.ini this is a little bit uh, tough step so follow me step by step i will guide you uh, open the dlss tweak.ini with notepad uh, after that go full screen scroll down to middle te middle section of this text and find this line uh, other dlss such as dlss frame gen after finding this line come below this line to this comma and delete this comma or semicolon whatever you say delete this semicolon and after that uh, select this path uh, don't select it from this side select it from this side because selecting from left side will cause you to delete this space so select it from this side this whole path don't don't remove the space uh, ahead of the c just select the path and delete it after that cite the text file go to that installation folder where you have pasted the files click on the address bar of the game uh, select the whole path right click copy then again go back to the text file you can full screen it uh, and then paste the path here after pasting the path go to end of the same line which you've just pasted and press this backslash from your keyboard then again cite the text file find this file dlssg dlss tweak wrapper dot dll right click rename copy the whole name of the file don't copy the file just copy the name of the file and do not rename this file just copy the name of the file then click outside then go back to the text again full screen the text if you like then where you have put at the back backslash just right click and click on paste that's it now we have uh, saved the mod just click on five and file and save after that close the text file and do not use this uh, launcher this shortcut to launch the game just use this launch.bat i modded it to use the dls frame generation okay just double click on launch your game will launch now you guys can skip 10 to 20 second ahead
okay we are back in the game but i don't think frame generation is turned on from the setting yet now i'm gonna go to setting and then here as you can see frame generation has come up just click on i mean just switch to yes and click apply and voila now you have your frame generations working so previously it was around 80 to 90 and now it's around 130 to 140 uh yeah this is it guys uh subscribe to this channel if this helps you i'm gonna run this game and play like noob for two to three minutes just to show you guys how the fps boost is working now i'm, I'm gonna mute the mic and play this game like a noob thank you to subscribe i will see you guys in the next one enjoy